Hey guys, Witchy Cat Lady here. We are back in Dragon Adventures. Now, there was an update this weekend that did change the leveling and maneuvering of dragons along with a few other things. So, I'm going to do an update on doing the guild tasks and some of the weekly missions since these things have been tweaked. But since I have pretty much completed the guild tasks on my main, I'm going to be showing you how to do them on my little alt here. So alt here. Now, if you see a similar name in game and you're not sure if it's my alt or not, just go to my mains Roblox profile and check the friend list. I friend all of my accounts that I actually use. There are many similar names on Roblox of witchy cat this, witchy lady that, cat lady this. Most of them, spoiler, are not me. So the ones that are me, I have friended on my profile. But let's get into some things. One of the first things that we will notice as we go into the Guild Wars, which I know everybody is working on, is the level a dragon up to level 10 has now been changed to level a dragon up to any level. So dragons actually now level up significantly slower, but they age pretty quick. So I'm going to get out this lower guy. And I don't think I have anything really low. So if you don't have anything to level, look at your other tasks. And like I talked about in the first guild task video, you want to try to stack as many of these as possible. So bond with the dragon, we will work on just as we have our dragons out. Okay, so we have breed a dragon and hatch an egg. That's going to be how we get our dragons. And there's also one in here for co-hatching, which did I complete that one yet? Uh, I did not. Where is it? Co-hatch a dragon four times. Now this honestly, in my opinion, is pretty easy. I leave my Kohatsu requests on to everyone and over the span of a week, usually I just get it done just being in the game. But you can also ask people to Kohatch with you just by saying, hey, anybody want to Kohatch? Um, let me see if I have anything that I can Kohatch with. I think everything needs to bond. Well, that, that can do that. Some of these actually are pretty ready to go. Actually, let me get take care of the breed task. Not that I have much room. So there's one done, seven guild points. And then here's what we do. If you don't have a lot of room to do these tasks, obviously the first thing you want to do is go check your stables as my Sorium takes up the screen with its name there. Now, if you can, you want to put as many dragons in the stable as possible that you're not going to be using. I have room for four more in there. So I'm going to throw ones in there that can't breed, can't co-hatch, you know, the event dragons or anything that I haven't unlocked the world, but I managed to get the dragon. Okay, so now I have five slots. And then, of course, another thing that you can do is if you really don't like the dragon or you really need the space that you've just bred or cohashed, you can just delete it. So I'm just going to find a few random things in here to breed. That's seven points, so that's two done. Three, four, and five. Now, do I want to keep any of these? That's a vented. Nothing really special going on with that. Oh, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Before I delete that, I need to level dragons up, don't I? Let's claim the breed a dragon. So level a dragon to any level. So I probably better keep some of these and then I'll delete them. So let's get out a few of these. That's a vetted. That'll level up pretty quick. Rock will level up pretty quick. The smaller dragons still level up pretty fast. Not as fast as they did, but still pretty quick. So you're going to want to use your small dragons, your rock, your vented, your sorum, your anfuls. Corals are questionable. Now, I think I have some eggs down here already that I'll go hatch. I do have my graphics down because I have a few windows open, so ignore that. And I'm going to grab this node while we're here, because if you remember from the last video, we do have the task in here to harvest 10 nodes four times. That's a total of 40 nodes. And nodes are going to be these resource things, as well as the trees with the fruit, things like that. Anything that you would come up and harvest. Oh, I'm lagging a little bit. So I guess I'll harvest this later when I don't have so many windows running. Oh, Sorium can be grown to the next age. Now, you will want to keep one out that does age up pretty quickly. Oh, the lag. Because here in our weekly missions, we have level a dragon up to level 5. This used to be to level 15. Because of the new leveling system, they changed it to level 5. So you're going to want to have one out that levels up pretty quickly because you need to reach level 5. And there's also grow a dragon to elder. So we're going to want to complete that. So keep one out that grows up pretty quick, like these, the Sorum here. Now that's an adult, so I can ride and fly that now. 
So let's go check my plot and see what kind of eggs I have to hatch. Again, pardon the graphics down low this time, but I've got some high demand windows open, as I'm sure some of you can relate. All right, here in my plot, let's take a look and see if I have any eggs. I do not. Now, someone did comment on my channel a tip for eggs to hatch, so I'll stitch that in to give them credit. But basically, your tip is origin eggs. And I also found out that grassland eggs are fast, too. So the origin egg and the grassland egg both take one minute, and I'll show you that right now. Let's put that cohatch egg in there. I really don't know when I got that. See, those take five minutes in the regular incubators. Those are not your best bet. But here's an origin egg. See, one minute. And then a grassland egg at one minute. And yes, you've probably noticed that on this account, I have a tutorial egg. I have no idea how I still have a tutorial egg on this account. It's, it's a miracle. <laughs> it truly is. All right, while we wait on that, Let's check out our dragon, see if anybody needs to be fed or they can reach a new level. Not quite, oh, here we go. The rock can go. That is now a juvenile. Okay, let's hatch these eggs. I probably could have thrown a few more in there. Oh, and I had a daily task to hatch an origin egg. There's 250 coins and working towards my guild to complete daily missions down here somewhere. There it is. I have six more of those to do. Now, I know I do talk back and forth a lot, so if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments, and I will come back and I will do videos more specific on them. I do not mind it at all. I absolutely love doing these missions. So let me throw in a few origin and grassland eggs, then I can come back to these later. Okay, now the co-hatch thing. I'm just gonna use an alt real fast to get some of that done. For the guild mission, I only need to do four, but I also have a weekly mission. So if we complete the weekly mission of co-hatch, I think it's eight times, yes. We also get a random egg and points towards our guild. So while I'm here smothered in dragons, let me go co-hatch my, um, my main real quick. And you can co-hatch and trade from afar, just hitting the social tab and then going down looking for the person you want to send the invite to. So we're going to co-hatch. Uh-oh, I already have a co-hatch egg. I'm going to go take care of that real quick. Okay, I've taken care of that co-hatch egg. Let's redo this. So now with these, you can either find several different people over time, or you can find one person who's willing to do this tip that I like to do is just sit in your plot near your incubators, throw it in, and resend the request. And I'll just speed through this for y'all. Also, guys, co-hatching is a great way to get new colors, new materials, new elements that you don't have or you don't have on other dragons. So there, the co-hatch for our guild task is done. But I still have four more for the weekly, so we're going to keep at it. And if you don't have enough dragons that can do this all at once, that's okay. Just do what you can, and then later come back to it. You have a whole week to get these done. And there, the mission is complete. And these co-hatch eggs, you can always come back to later. And you can save them for the next guild task of hatch 10 eggs. So, because they'll take a good five minutes to sit there and cook, essentially. So, your task in here for hatch an egg 10 times, you can even use the co-hatch eggs. You have a week to get it done. So, you can set them in here and just let them do their thing and come back to it the next day or something. But here's all these origin and grassland eggs. I'll go ahead and get them done. Oh, want a co -hatch egg. Let me check my inventory first. Actually, let me first check these. Okay, he can grow up. There's the completed the mission of the elder. So I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, I'll keep him equipped. to grow that one up to an adult. That venom cannot grow up yet, so let's give it some food. And that leveled that one up. Oh, I should probably keep that rock out to level up. Because that hasn't leveled up yet. I should probably keep that out. Let's do that. Give it some food. And we'll go ahead and delete some of these. Oh, that's so pretty, though. What is this one? Eh, we'll go ahead and delete that one. I really don't feel like I want that one or that I'm going to be able to keep it. This this looks cute, though. Peroxide, oh my gosh. I don't need more peroxides. You're a rock. You grow up pretty quick, but I'm going to be hatching a ton of eggs. This looks, so, this looks like it could be so cute. Gosh, I have so many dragons. So I guess we'll keep these out to level up and bond. Because we do have the bond with a dragon task for the guild, which I believe is 10 times. So let's get these done. There you go. Get your pets in. 
And again, you work on this, the bonding thing, as you're doing the leveling of your dragons and the hatching eggs. It really just overlaps and stacks up. So it's not like you have to do this and then do the hatching and then do the breeding. You can do a lot of these all at the same time. See, we're getting three done right here, just sitting here less than a minute. Now, to recap for the storage issues, you upgrade with coins. And you can either shortcut that by buying them with Robux, which I don't normally do. I have done before on smaller amounts, but I'm not that rich. <laughs> but you just save up your coins. You get coins from doing the tasks, like here we grew to an Elder, there's 2,000. By selling dragons, you know, farming fruits on the farm, farming mobs. Bosses actually give a good bit of coins, and I'll show you that here in a second. I just want to check where we are on the guild tasks. I still have a few daily missions to do. Uh, bond with a dragon, that'll happen. Let's, let's go ahead and hatch these eggs and get that done. I'll just go ahead and delete a lot of these origin ones, because they're all going to be rocks. Grasslings going to be sorums and howlers, which is actually getting a remodel very, very soon. So check back in to see those. They're going to be gorgeous. This little guy, I don't know if I want to keep him or if I want to try to sell him down at the auction. Because there actually is a weekly mission in here to buy or sell a dragon at Auction House. And you get two spin tokens. I like spin tokens. Okay, let's hatch these. Oh, a Tigrilia. I said Sorum and something else. What did I say? But it wasn't Tigrilia. Oh, goodness. All right, we've not gotten a pop-up yet, so let's keep hatching till we do. And this is a new thing they added in. So when you hover over the icon, you can see how many gems you've earned so far, which is up here in the corner, the guild gems. You can spend these ones now. This one here that says your reward is based on your guild's placement. So the farther you get in the tier, the more you will get. And that is going to be based on if you're in first, second, or third. So Eggy, still haven't done them all. We've got to get in here and delete these. Those are cute colors, though. It can be very hard to delete some of these dragons because they're so pretty. Somebody can be grown to the next age. See, as we're doing things, that pops up. All right, let's grow you up. Let's give you some pumpkins or something while we're here. Meat, that's what we have on this account. Anybody else have a need? All right, so I think one more egg and I'm buried under my dragons. There we go. We'll go in here and claim our hatchet egg task. And we got one more guild gem. So now, down here to the level up any dragon. As you guys can see, buried in all this mess, these dragons have pretty low levels. And at first, it was very frustrating for a lot of us because the levels are so low. And we're used to seeing that a low-level dragon is honestly a terrible fighter. It dies easy in the mobs, dies easy in the bosses. But I'm about to go show you that that is no longer the case. So let's take this Sorum and let's go find some boss battles. Let's see if anybody will join us. So I'm letting people know I'm headed to the boss if anyone wants to join because I need to level a dragon and do battle for tasks. Because for the guild task, there is defeat a boss five times. Now, if for some reason I'm struggling on this account, I'll just switch back to my main and show you real quick for the sake of the video. But a friend and I got in last night and we found out, oh wow, that's glitchy. We found out that these lower dragons actually do a really good job. And it doesn't matter which boss you do. If you want really, really good rewards, go to as high of a world as you can. If you just want to get some coins or complete the tasks, then honestly, any world is perfectly fine. And I am flying super slow. I am so laggy. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. So if you don't know, let's close that. The boss in Origins is up here in this lovely little Arctic looking area. It looks like nobody has joined me. Let me go ahead and take care of these bonds to get that task taken care of. Because honestly, I do not like bonding with my dragon. I find it very time consuming. I really only do it if I have to. Okay, I think this is finally the last of the bond he needs. But look how cute he's sitting in the snow blending in. It's adorable. Wakey wakey. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and unequip some of these that I'm not using. For the battle. I'm going to keep this sorum out. Let me go ahead and feed it. No! No! <laughs> okay, intermission. Oh, right, guys, look at this. <gasps> We're back in. This is why they updated the countdown for the galaxy event. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Nine. Oh, okay. Okay, let's get in and find this.
11 days, one hour, 35 minutes. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Can I walk into the spaceship yet? Let me in. Let me in. No, I can't walk into the spaceship yet. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited. Okay, back to the tip for leveling up the dragons using the bosses. So I'm going to take this Sauron and see if I can solo a boss at level three. Just because I know that a lot of us, you know, we're starting out the dragons we want to level up are low levels. We want to get them up. I can solo a boss now with a higher level dragon, but that that wouldn't really show you guys tips and tricks. That would just show you, hey, look what I've achieved. So let's take this young guy up here and see what he can do. And if this doesn't work out, I'll head to another world where people do boss battles more and see if we can find some buddies to do this with. No, not you. You. All right. In we go. Because we actually... Oh, hello, glitches. Wow. Because we actually do get a good bit of experience doing the boss. Oh, that's confetti. Oh, my. Why is... Okay, there we go. All right. I'm having some difficulties with the fire here in this app. Now, if you do experience any bugs with the game, first, please try leaving and rejoining. I had been experiencing some bugs, so I reached out on Discord for some assistance from the moderators and devs. And they reassured me that it definitely was not something intended. It was a bug. And they gave me some advice on how to address it and it did fix it. Okay, so even at level three, look how good this is doing. Look at this. And yes, you'll notice that it is moving a lot faster. The controls at the bottom are different. No, I am not used to it yet. I am getting there. I'm not a fan of feeling like I'm sliding like butter, but some dragons, it works out better. Others, okay, I'm stuck. Help, help me. Okay, this is a problem. Come here, come here. Let me get you from here then. I'm cornered. Yeah. Oh, I'm free. But yes, the new flight system I do believe they are still working on tweaking some of the bugs. The dev did say that from here on out, any large updates that they do, they will be reaching out for a broader testing audience. Because while the testers for the game are amazing, they really are few. And a handful of people just don't always represent everyone. And this was a shock to a lot of us. Overall, I love this update. I think it implemented a lot of needed things. And now that we are getting used to it and giving feedback and things are getting tweaked a little bit, it is overall going to be for the best. It has added some fun things in here. And honestly, I did not know I had confetti element on this thing. This is hilarious. Look at this. <laughs> I'm like battling the boss with the party. Look, look at this. Level three Sorum about to complete the boss. I'm only on my second life. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. And I leveled up. What's the level on this sword? I'm going to get my prize real quick. Oh, I got an egg. I can use that for hatching eggs if I need to. So my sorium is now a level four. Boss battles are the way to go now, guys. Look how easy that was other than me getting stuck. That was fantastic. I've completed, earned 500 coins, and defeat a boss. You see how easily they stack? Missions do not need to be done one at a time. So many get done just by doing another one. I still have to do all the mobs. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'll do it on this account. I do not do the Alchemy 40 Elixir on my alt. I do do it on my main. And what I do for that is mostly go up to a higher world and farm mobs. And then use the meat, bacon, and ashes in the Alchemy Station. Okay, let's see in here... So I showed you how to do the boss pretty easy and how it levels us up pretty quick. I've shown you how to do the nodes. I don't want to sit here and do everything all over again if you've seen it before. I know there were questions about when a duel against an enemy guild member. So to save some trouble trying to find somebody, let me just log in and alt real quick and I'll show you how to do that. Oh, and another quick tip. If you can afford a private server, some of these tasks are, I think, easier to do in a private server like the mobs and everything, because a lot of people do crowd on them. But if you can't afford it, I would just suggest server hopping. It's usually not that big of a deal. Uh, please don't fight people <laughs> over mobs when you can just, you know, switch servers. Okay, hold on real quick before I do that. Uh, we learned something. There are little things called meteor impact zones. 
Um, let's go talk to this guy. Hello? Hi, adventurer. I seem to be in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> he looks a little odd. <laughs> I have been looking for my brother, Damien. He was last seen on the lunar toxic world, the moon that orbits wasteland. I'm trying to reach there, but there's a meteorite storm showering this planet. It's too dangerous for me to launch my rocket. We'll need to wait until the storm passes before we can take off. In the meantime, go check out the meteorite impact zones. You can find them in every world, and there's bound to be some goodies in there. Okay, I like goodies. All right, that explains why. Oh, look at that. Okay, I see it. I see it. See, it's pointing me to where it is. <gasps> what is that? Oh. All right. Fire! And I know to fire it because one of my friends already figured it out. <laughs> you know who you are. I won't shout you out. I don't want to embarrass you. But you can comment if you want. Okay, so we fire this. Okay, this is going to take a hot minute. Do I have somebody stronger? Let me get a higher level dragon. Hello, demon. Come here. You are bright and aptly named. Woo! There we go. Okay, this is moving better. Well, look at it falling apart. That's actually kind of cool. What do I get? Is that a potion? A radioactive preset potion. Yes. Oh my gosh. Give me these. Hello. Hello, surprise going into my tips video. Oh, guys, more. Let's see what we'll get out of it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to get in here later and farm these things. This is amazing. I like potions. I love presets. All right. Give me something good. What you got? Breath cool down. Get it. What is it? Star dragon bed for your building? <gasps> no. What? <gasps> okay, what's this one? Now, I don't know if people fight over these or these are in individual for others. So I guess we'll find out. Um, either way, I found three pretty quick. So I'm happy with that. Oh, breath cool down. Come on. There we go. Explosion. What'd I get? A lunar toxic egg. <gasps> The ro okay, these are the same thing from last year. So the RoboDot is locked. So we're going to hold on to that. Don't hatch that yet. Because there's going to be something to unlock that for us. Okay, so let's go in here. I want to check out this little bed. I really don't have much much on this alt in the building. Let's see. Uh, seasonal, I guess. <gasps> Star Oh, that's big. Hello. Hungry won't be able to grow. You'll be fine. Look at this. This is cute. There you go. Sit on your bed. <gasps> no, sit on the, not the back of the bed. Okay. Well, Bright Demon is a little goofy. So, wow. Yes. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, definitely get in and get those while you can. Looks like we have a couple of weeks to do that. So, uh, what were we doing? Oh, yes. Um, no, I don't remember. <laughs> I'll check this. Um, win a duel against an enemy guild member. Okay. Let me get an alt in real quick. So I can do that. I would ask my friend, but he likes to like really, really battle. And well, I just want to do this for a video real quick. Okay, while my alt is logging in, because it does take a little bit for the data to sync, I'm going to go over here and get this thing. Is everybody going to the same one? Do we have to fight? Oh, yes, we do have to fight over it. Okay, so this looks like if you can get a private server, if you can afford it, that's when you're going to really maximize these. Because looks like you can't share it and it's not unique to you, just like all the other nodes. So honestly, that's what I'm going to do when I'm done recording this video. I'll edit it real quick. And then I'm going to go into my private server and I'm going to farm the daylights out of these things. But a tip, if you can't get a private server, you can hop around and find a low level server. And I'll show you how to do that. It's going to be hard to find a low-level server in the higher-up worlds, but you can totally do that with Origins. Okay, now that my alt is here, which is right there, Switchy Cat Baby. So what you do for the win a duel against an enemy guild member, which is right here, you have to do that five times. The trick to it, and I'm going to show you that real quick. First, let me get the duel set up. So they have to be in an op a guild that's not yours, an opposite guild. So this one's in Mystic, that one's in Iron. The trick to it is you can't just straight up blast the other person. The other person has to do some damage with fire or something. So there, that did minor damage on me. And then I can sit here and do the damage on it. 
Now, it's more fun if you find someone and you just flat out just battle and see who wins, which I do believe is the point of it. But even if you do that, in order to win, you're going to have to let the other person do some minor damage to you. So let's do that again four more times and get it taken care of. Okay, last one here. And done. Now, I do believe I've shown how to do everything else. So if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. Now, what I was going to show you real quick is how to find an empty server. So let me hop out of here and we're going to see that. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to go ahead and leave the game. And then what you do is you go to where you're going to play the game and you click on it. Do not hit play. You want to scroll down to the server list and it'll say servers. So we click on there. And I know many of you know this, but some people don't. So that's why we do this. It first shows you any private servers that you have or that your friends have, anything that your friends are in. And then you have other servers and you can sort these if you haven't seen yet. So descending will show you the highest ones first, the ones that have the most players in it. So what we're gonna wanna do is go to ascending. It'll show us the ones with the lowest numbers in it. So if you want to farm something in Origins, go to the smallest server you can find. That way there's less people in there. So we're going to get in here and we're going to see just how full it is while we stare at this black screen. Okay, now we're loading and here we are. We're back in. And now there's way less people in here. There's still a good bit of people because there's a lot of people in right now. But there is less people, so we might have a better chance at finding some of these things. Okay, let me find some of my fast dragons. I think the Sorum's pretty fast right now, but it didn't do good damage. Oh, uh, this guy's level 9. So apparently they spawn every few minutes, so we just need to keep an eye out. Oh, look, there's somebody just hanging out up here. Hello. Oh, that's a pretty dragon. I guess while we're waiting for those to spawn, we'll do harvest some of our nodes or kill some of our mobs. Actually, let's go kill mobs. Let's kill mobs, because I'm going to show you another part of the update, is they did change the mob drops. In Origins, you don't get bacon anymore. You get one ash and one meat. You will start seeing bacon around Volcano. I am not sure why they changed this, but I'm sure it has to do with, I don't know, how people gather resources and getting too many or having a reason to work up. But at least in Origins, they're pretty easy to kill. Oh, there's somebody on one. Can I do it too? Yes. So I guess we can compete in it as long as it hasn't disappeared yet. That's good to know. Where did I get? A Star Saddle Accessory? Hello. Let's put that on. Um, that's, <laughs> it doesn't go there. <laughs> All right. So we just adjust it with our controls. And it doesn't look that amazing on the sore. I think I just need to tighten it up a little bit. Uh, size. Not that way. Not that way. Am I doing the right way? I'm not doing the right one. This one. There we go. Tighten it in a little bit. Here, turn. Let's just tighten that in. Okay, that looks a little better. Do we need to... I think everything else looks all right. I am not perfect at aligning these accessories, so if you see me running around with a goofy-looking dragon, it's it's still not even in the right place. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Hover, hover, hover in place. Oh, goodness. Free yourself. No! He looks happy about it, too. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hello, grass. Okay, unequip. So I think I've shown just about everything there is. If you have any other questions, again, please let me know in the comments. I'm happy to jump back in and do a video. I'm happy to comment and give some further explanations. I do not mind at all. I love doing this. So I will see you in another video or in game. Bye, lovelies.